Okay, I know there's a lot of people that are probably looking for this information because I could not find any information on how to build a spray rig the proper way. Um, there is no videos really on YouTube. There is only information that you can try to find, but no one gives you the right information. Okay, this is a North Star sprayer. Okay, it started off with a 2.2 GPM pump on it which I found out was way undersized for the spray rig setup that I made. So I got myself a four gallon per minute pump and I installed it. Next thing I found out that the North Star sprayers regulators are absolute garbage. You cannot regulate and maintain a constant volume of pressure because they are, I believe, 250 PSI valves. You're not producing 250 PSI. These pumps only produce about 60 to 70 PSI. So with my spray rig I made here, I have three T-Jets, okay? They're 20 inches apart, 20 inches off the ground. My line here is half inch to a half inch center T-Jet down to three eighths lines to the outside T-Jets. We have a banjo style quick connect setup that connects to the outlet of my pump, which I'm just showing you how it connects. You would tighten these down, pull them, and you have a connection. The pump from the pump setup for sprayer from North Star is not that bad. It just needs some work. So to correct the issues of having not enough flow and the regulator constantly bumping on and off the pump because the pressure would get above 60 pounds and the pump would turn on and off the regulator wasn't flowing properly so what we have here is a t-jet manual valve okay you have your inlet from the pump going into your t-jet valve okay across your t-jet valve to a pressure regulating valve from t-jet out of my t-jet regulating valve across to an inlet back into the tank with a bulkhead fitting so you can constantly mix the fluid or liquid whatever you're spraying while you're spraying i used a piece of quarter inch aluminum and drilled out the holes to match the handle that's on the other side of the tank and lined everything up you use clamps Stainless steel fittings, obviously. I mean, stainless steel uh, clamp, hose clamps and nuts and wash, uh, nuts and bolts. The uh, connection that comes on this tank is this handle here, okay? And that handle is the holes that I used for the other side. Now, when you're only using a boom, you really only need one manual valve because you can tap off your sprayer right off of here because this comes with a quarter inch hole this is three quarter three quarter which I use bushings on both sides to step it down to half inch this is a half inch t-jet bypass valve this is a half inch inlet okay the outlets on the bottom which you can see here which I use a 90 I kept everything encased as close as I could inside the cover that was there this was the original return line back to the tank, which I'm no longer using it. I'm just using it as a breather tube for the tank. Okay, I uh, took the hose fit, uh, fitting that was on here, which I'll show you right now, which is a squirter or a fan spray, which didn't work too well. So I got myself a quick connect T-jet fitting that has quarter inch threads, quarter inch nipple, quarter inch back into the brass fitting. So I can use it as a squirt if I'm spraying some pesticides on an awning or something like that I can't reach. Okay, but the normal would be me spraying the lawn in the uh, sidewalk areas or the small parts where I do not want to get chemical on my Pachysandra. 
the gun and everything is still the same setup. That works fine. The other thing is that I did was this is your power inlet. They give you a cheap switch. It works fine. But I routed the wires underneath into and behind. I connected one set of leads to the battery. Those wires all go back out to this nice switch I found on Amazon, which I couldn't believe actually was funny. It's a switch that has carbon fiber, which kind of matches the carbon fiber that Toro puts on their thing, the fake carbon fiber. And when you turn the switch on, pump turns on, you can turn the switch off while you're in your seat. So you don't have to reach for a wire or something to make sure that you have the right spray going on or on or off when you're spraying. I also have shut off valves here and there so that if I don't feel like using the spray gun to spray the little part between the sidewalk and the road, I can shut those valves off and just use the center valve. I plumbed everything in half inch, like I said, main line, half inch. This way I can reduce the amount of uh, flow restrictions in the pump or for, for the sprayer. I just tested it out and it works great. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help you. But I gotta say one thing, I still gotta give my guys credit. Pete from GCI, John from Lawn Ecology, Alan from Lawn Care Nut, and don't forget Pete's famous words, get your dirt right.